What is up mga bay? It has been a long time and welcome back to my channel. Nabisi mga gudta no? Nabisi sa trabaho, nabisi sa anak, nabisi sa COVID, nabisi sa gawain bahay. Pero da, sige dagag rason. Let's just get moving. So as you can see right behind me, meron tayong isang bakanting piece of lot. Dati, mga basura yan. So, ang ginawa natin, tinanggalan natin ng mga basura, tinanggal natin ng mga, mga unnecessary things because we have a plan for that place. And I know that you already know kung anong gusto kong sabihin. No? Yes, gagawa tayo ng mga panibagong mga pan. So, ang plano natin mga bay, gagawa tayo ng mga panibagong ponds na concrete uh, not the same with the old and traditional ponds that we had yung mga trapans natin but this time uh, let us try to venture and to have an upgraded scale of our uh, hobby so here's the plan uh, on that side of our uh, vacant lot actually this is a part of my property Uh, yan yung area na wala medyong sagabal sa gagawin nating plan no? sa gagawin nating ponds and uh, it's fenced so yung ating mga alaga ay safe pa rin uh, taking into consideration that uh, behind that is a vacant lot na pwedeng kung sino-sino lang yung dumaan kung sino-sino lang yung pwedeng sumilip but I am at ease and at peace kasi mayroon naman tayong dalawang aso kung gusto nilang pumasok, pasok lang sila no? but anyway, here's the plan lalagyan natin yan ng mga pond kasing laki at kasing haba ng dati nating existing na pond 4 feet by 8 feet by 1 foot deep but this time, medyo siguro mataas konti, gagawin natin 16 inches so there are a lot of ways on how to construct a concrete pond uh, like the traditional one you use the hollow blocks you use cement But this time, I'm gonna be doing a, a prefabricated concrete slab. We, we mold it, we let it dry, and then we will construct it one by one and let's see what will be the result, no? Before we begin with our new project, uh, since matagal na tayong hindi nakapag-tour, tutour ko muna kayo sa ating mga remaining na collections. If you remember our previous vlog, yung ginawa nating 4x8x12 na supposedly breeding tank ginawa nating grow out tank red white mixed with sakura ryukin ito yung aking giant line nasa mga 2 or 3 inches laking community tank almost about 3 months old if I'm not mistaken katabi niya is yung ating ryukin fries pa rin yan 1 month old A rough estimate nasa more than 1000 or almost 2,000 ito yung main reason kung bakit tayo gagawa ng panibagong ponds kasi kailangan nila ng medyo mas malaking space para naman hindi mag stunt yung kanilang growth and kita nyo naman nagsisiksika na sila dapat kasi kokonti lang overstocking na ito eh next stop meron tayo ditong ref tub sa kabila may mga medyo not so good na mga fish ayoko kasing tinatapon o pinapakain sila so dyan sila nag, uh, nag stay right beside it new set of fries tinry ko lang yung oranda naman orchid tail oranda males are imported but the female is island born siguro nasa mga 2 weeks old to hindi pa gaano nakikita so our next stop will be our aquarium some of the offspring ng aking kaliko and kirin of course ryukin pa din these are just sample grow outs from community tank breeding tank 1 to 1 and a half inches yung size 2 months old sa baba meron tayong shrimp next is yung ating napaka lubog walang linis na tank but inside are demikins sakura demikin these are female i am currently looking for male kirin na demikin para partner ko dito and we will have breeding ito kapatid ng mga giant line natin ito nasa mga 4 to 5 inches or 3 to 4 inches next up ito yung ating set of females ito yung ating old 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 ref tub i think this is my, my the first ref tub that i had no? ayan po yung ating set of females syempre mga ryukin meron tayong isang oranda ayan po yung mother 
yung female ng mga fry na pinakita ko earlier yan po so these are sets of female ryukin red white and sakura ryukin next up is our ligid tab gulong to gulong na ginawang tab nabibili dyan sa mga nagre-recycle ng mga gulong this is our male tab so lahat ng dandi dito are males male orchid oranda red cap kaliko Next up is our old, 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 almost damaged, almost falling down. London Bridge is falling down na uh, tank. Ito yung ating trapant. Uh, dating breeding tub natin. Ginawa na lang grow out ng ating mga orchids. Orchid tail oranda. Konti lang yung survive. Konti lang ang chosen. Next up is our original, the first and ever trapant. Still surviving. Almost two years now. Kita nyo naman yung laminated sack almost dilapidated na. <laughs> you know, low leak, no holes, no punch holes, no anything. Still running, up and running. No? Ah, nandyan sa loob, mix of orandas and reukin. So, nilagyan natin ng temporary na cover or roofing kasi medyo mainit ang panahon. Baka ma-burn yung ating mga fish. Source ng ating free-flowing water system. Ang dami kasi natatanong about dito eh. Uh, So this is my reservoir and that line is our main line going to our system distributed to uh, the different uh, tabs no? at saka yan, going to our tilapia pond So this is the reservoir and this is the main water source This is drilled 190 feet below the ground sa aquifer no? and then water is pushed because of pressure wala pong pump yan it's just free flowing water system plainly free flowing water ang lumalabas yan malinis potable water okay. so next stop our tilapia pond as usual meron pa din mga tilapia ang dami dami pa rin unending supply of tilapia fish personal consumption not for sale no? next is our tub number one kapatid ng mga giant line natin sakura and red white ryukin more than 100 pieces na nandi dito maliit na tab lang I know it's overstocking but my water is free flowing so I think it's okay so far wala namang problema no siguro one main problem is agawan talaga na bagain kapag kaganyang kadami sa isang tab tendency is yung growth nila will be affected but I'm planning to transfer them soon gagamitin natin yung mga bagong tubs natin na gagawin ref tub number 2 nandito yung ating mga female breeders and soon to be breeders I'm trying to separate them kasi medyo delayed yung kanilang growth so they need to catch up kinuha ko sila doon nilagay ko dito na kung saan pwede silang kumain ng kumain ng kumain hanggang sa lumaki at mag reach ng mature age na pwede nang mangitlog rough tub number 3 ginawa ko itong breeding tank ng ryuki natin yung dalawang kaliko kirin at saka yung mother na red white offspring nila I think 2 weeks old hindi gaanong marami hindi rin gaanong kakaunti no? tama tama lang hindi naman tayo into business we are into hobby lang naman siguro in the future we will venture sa business side but I think not yet at this moment connected to our free flowing water system and our aeration system no? and the last stop will be our fourth ref top kirin and ryukin breed kasama to ng mga nandun sa aquarium so these are not for sale these are for keeps I will show you kung paano ko nagawa yung ating prefabricated na slabs concrete slabs na gagamitin natin mamaya or later on sa ating next project na concrete pond so this will be the first time na gagawa tayo ng concrete pond and Actually, itong paggawa natin ng concrete slab is also the first time. Uh, gumawa muna ako ng dalawa, sample, kasi ayoko naman na ipakita sa inyo na kung baga gagawa tayo ng DIY na hindi ko pa natatry o hindi ko pa nasusubukan. So lahat ng, ng DIY na ginawa natin during our previous videos, lahat yun na test and na try ko na. And I always make sure na I, I test it and I try it first before ibahagi sa inyo ng sa ganun, yung information na ibabahagi ko sa inyo is tested and proven na. Okay, so ano pang ginagawa natin? Let's go, let's make our pre-fabricated concrete slabs. Sand, cement of course. We need tie wires, square tube or tubular. Ang size po nito is 1 inch. Pinagawa ko sa shop, naka-weld yan. 
So that will be our mold for our concrete slab, 4 feet by 16 inches. First, yung gagawin natin since yung ating sand is mixed, no? sand and gravel, with varying shape and sizes of rocks and stones. Kailangan muna natin siyang salain. So, sasalain natin siya with a 3 4 inch size na screen para yung mahulog at yung magamit natin na buhangin tsaka bato is less than 1 inch para naman hindi siya magkakaroon ng problema dun sa ating mold. I have already laid a laminated sack to prevent yung ating cement and sand from sticking doon sa ating floor. So, it will be a barrier para matanggal natin yung ating slab. The most ideal would be polyethylene. Pinakamagandang gamitin kaya lang wala tayo dito tsaka wala tayong mapagkukunan so ito na lang gagawa tayo dito ng form one after the other no kasi isa lang yung ating mold hanggang sa makabuo tayo ng at least 6 slabs na kailangan natin para sa isang 4 by 8 by 16 inches deep na tank so in this mixture we will be doing 1 to 2 ratio 1 cement to 2 sand Lagyan natin ng Sahara. Purpose ito is for waterproofing. No, ratio is 1 bag of this to 1 bag of cement. But this hindi 1 bag of cement yung gagamitin natin. Estimate lang. That will be the temporary appearance of my We will wait for at least 30 minutes to set it a little. Around 30 minutes to 40 minutes, tatanggalin natin yung mold. So, ito na guys, we are, we are about to remove the frame from the molding. So, meron tayo dito mga tie wire. Ito yung ilalagay natin sa gilid. mga nasa 7 slabs na I will show you how to remove the cured slab from the laminated sack and so ayun nga nakagawa na tayo ng 8 slabs and I am so excited to start the next project which is pag assemble na natin ito hindi ko pa rin alam no kung this will be a successful one kung success ba walang leak walang tagas walang hindi ba magkakaproblema, hindi ko alam. So, this will be something to look forward to. So, mga bay, I hope may natutunan kayo sa ginawa nating video, sa paggawa ng mga slabs. And, abang-abang tayo sa susunod na upload. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Nagagawin ko na yung aking first and ever concrete pond. Sana'y maging successful. Alright? Thank you very much. Keep posted. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Babus.